Good morning. Morning. Um, our blackout tent works. Yeah, like super well. We slept in for an extra three hours because we didn't realise that the sun had come up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we did plan on like waking up real early and going on a nice brekkie date and going for a walk and stuff, but now we're going to have to adapt. Um, I'm okay with it. Yeah, and we'll see how the day goes. Yeah. Hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> <laughs> And that is not a bad view to wake up to, though. Official good morning, guys, and welcome back to our channel. We're up now, had a shower, got refreshed, and we're ready to start our day. We're heading off to have breakfast in Buckton, or it might be lunch by the time we get there, but anyhow. Um, and then we're going to go off and do a walk and hopefully see some beautiful sights. So we hope you enjoy. It's been so lovely out here with all the beautiful farms and the hills and we've been seeing all these little baby <laughs> lambs running around in like herds and stuff. and. It's been really, really beautiful and peaceful and calming. Now Malika's vegetarian, so she's getting a nice nut roast. Um, I've just been looking at these cute, adorable lambs, thinking, man, they look delicious. So I've ordered myself a lamb roast, and we'll see what they're like when they're just fresh. <laughs> Cheers. Potatoes and veggies, lamb, Yorkshire pudding, nut roast, mint sauce. It's for winners, this. Mmm. So fresh, love it. Good. It's alright. <laughs> so we've had a nice lunch. Be yeah. Beautiful pub that. The um the pub owner came out and was like, you guys need some sunscreen, it's really <laughs> hot. And he said, oh just go and like knock on the house down the road and say Pub owner asked you, my wife will come out and she'll give you some sunscreen of her own. <laughs> <laughs> They're so, so cute. So lovely here. It's like exceptionally warm here for like April. But by, by, by exceptionally warm, it's just north of 20 degrees. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's winter in Australia, but we've obviously got shorts on, t-shirts, you know, it, it feels hot. But we're off to um long weight or something like that. To um no, it's not long weight, long <laughs> Long something Dale. Langstroth Dale. And we start the walk at Jochen's Thwaite. Jochen's Thwaite Bridge. We're off for a nice walk. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Right, so we've made it here, we're just about to start. This one is a circular walk, it's called Langstrothdale. Langstrothdale. That's the one. Just started the Langstrothdale walk, it's a circular walk. You start at Jochenthwaite and go over the bridge and then follow the creek down. And then you go to Deepdale, I think it is, and come back along the road. So, let's see how it goes. Where we go? I think so. So we found this stone circle on the track. Um, they say it used to be an ancient burial ground or like meeting place or something. People don't really know what they were used for, but every time we see one, we think it's amazing. This is quite a small one, but still pretty cool. Just don't touch the stones, Malika. I don't want you like taken off into some <laughs> other time or something like I that. Meet Jamie. Can you hear that buzzing? It's okay, you're my Jamie. Oi. <laughs> There's so many little baby lambs everywhere. 
Oh, and it's just such nice weather. Right, we got some locals' knowledge. Um, we just kind of wanted to go for a nice drive, so we're basically gonna head back to the car and then take this road down, go to a place called Ingleton. It's meant to be a viaduct near there and some um, some kind of cool hills. So we'll see how that goes. So this is Ribblehead Viaduct in the Yorkshire Dales, um, driving out to Ingleton and came upon it. And the, the scenery and the drive and everything has just been absolutely amazing. Beautiful. So we've just got back to our campsite um, and in the last like, I don't know, 15 minutes of driving, we had two different warning lights on the car come up. One was the something to do with the brake brake pads are running low yeah and then um the other one was one that sounds maybe a little bit more serious at this point which was the like run flat tire tire pressure warning um we pulled over the tires look fine at the minute but the warning stayed on so there could be a puncture or something and we don't know what um so <laughs> If it's bad, we'll find out in the morning. Yeah. One of the tires will be flat. Yeah. If it's if it's because we we read there's a few things where people are saying that like it's not such a problem and they can be kind of nuisance warnings. Um, so if it's not if it's not so bad, we'll have a look in the morning and all the tires will look fine. Um, I guess and then we'll go to a garage and um, actually check the pressure for them. Um, but yeah, just a bit of a worry when yeah. <laughs> two different warning things pop up one after the other. So we did have a plan for tomorrow to go driving again around different places in the Yorkshire Dales, but unfortunately I don't think that's going to be happening. We'll just... And the bummer of it, yeah. of it all is it's my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> technically, but... technically, two and a half hours ago today in Australia... It was, the st it was my birthday. Yes, it's true, but we're in the UK and tomorrow is my birthday. But anyway, I'm an adult and I can get over that. <laughs> um, but we're going to go and have dinner now and try and forget about it for a little bit. Have dinner and, you know, just chill. Pints. He's going to have some pints. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for um, watching along today, guys. We hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, give us a thumbs up so we know you like the content and subscribe so you can find out what happens with the car. All right, we'll see you in our next video. Cheers. Bye. Bye.